when you download files, especially software files, sensitive documents, or installation images, it is important that you check the downloaded item against SHA file checksum for integrity and authenticity. I'm going to show you how you can do this on a Linux or a Mac OS device without using any additional packages or online tools. So in here, I have downloaded the Windows 11 installation package, the .iso file. And on the bottom of that page, you see the Microsoft has provided to us conveniently the checksum values for different versions of that file. The version that I have downloaded is the English 64-bit version. So we will be checking our checksum value for the .iso file we have downloaded, which is right here, against this particular value. What we're gonna do now is to open the terminal. So on your Linux machine or on your uh, Mac OS machine, open the terminal uh, in a normal way. You don't need to even have the administrative privileges for this. And then we're gonna use a command called SHA sum uh, to perform this operation. So I'm gonna make this screen a little bit bigger so it's easy for uh, you guys to see. So the command we're gonna use is the SHA sum. So that would be the command. But before we do that, we need to navigate to the location where we have this file um, have been downloaded because that would be easier for us to run that command in that location. So in here, I have the file downloaded in the downloads uh, uh, folder. So I'm gonna go CD, uh, download. So now if I go ls, uh, I see the files uh, located in there. And one of them is this particular file, the win11 English, uh, the x64 uh, file. So that's the one uh, we will be, you know, trying to uh, run the uh, checksum on. So uh, the command is SHA sum space, and we're gonna put dash A. And what we're gonna use is a 256 uh, bit value. And then we're gonna enter the file name here. So I'm gonna go uh, win11 uh, English uh, x64 that ISO file. Then we're gonna press enter. Depending on how fast your computer is running, it might take a little bit time uh, for it to generate this value. So once it's go through that process, it will generate the value associated with this particular file. So in here, we have that value shown right here. Uh, so now what we can do, we can use this SHA value and look the, that against, look that up against the value provided to us by the manufacturer or the, uh, the person, uh, the organization that is putting that document out. So right here, we see for English 64-bit version of the the Windows 11 uh, ISO, uh, the checksum value is this. And if you look that checksum value against the checksum value we have here, we see it's the exact same value. Hence, we have verified that this value match against this value and therefore it is the correct file and there are no data corruption or any authenticate authenticity issues. This particular command is valid not only on your Linux machines, but also on your Mac OS uh, machine. So if you have a Mac operating system on a Apple uh, Macintosh machines, uh, such as MacBook Pro or a desktop uh, machines, you would be able to run the same command as well. There are a few other options available in this command as well. Uh, so let's clear this. Uh, to look at those options, you can type sh a sum, the same command, and if you put dash H and press enter, that will give you some information uh, associated with that particular command and some options that you have. For example, the command we use is the SHA sum uh, dash A256 and then we enter the file name. But as you can see, the reason why I did that is right here, it tells you, you know, how that uh, particular variable works. So in here, uh, this dash a switch 
uh, along with 256 number, we basically told uh, this particular software package to check the checksum against the SHA um, uh, 256 bit value. But you can also uh, you check against the other values, 512, for example, uh, if that's what is provided to you. For this particular Windows installation file, this um, uh, value is provided in 256 uh, SHA. So that's why uh, I use uh, that particular command. Uh, the command that I use is uh, this one with A uh, dash A256. Again, you can check this out uh, by just typing SHA sum dash H. So that will give you the, all the options available. As you can see, you can also generate uh, the SHA value for a file uh, as well uh, using these switches and options. There's another little trick that we can use with this particular command where we can eliminate the need to check the value that we have obtained. Uh, what I mean by that is if I simply clear this one uh, and remember the command we ran, uh, which is the command which is hsum a 256 and we enter the file name. But the problem, one of the problems that with this command uh, is that you have to check the value that you obtain from this particular command against the value provided to you by the manufacturer manually. In other words, you have to go to the manufacturer uh, you know, uh, page, and then you have to look at this particular value and you have to match that exact same value by I by just basically reading across here. A really clever uh, hacker or some threat actor can actually make a SHA value pretty close to what the original value is. They may be able to get the first few numbers and the last few numbers to match with the original value. To eliminate any human error, we can add a little bit of more stuff to this particular command and we can let the command itself in the terminal to check this value against the original value provided to us by the manufacturer uh, right here. So what we can do uh, is that first thing, uh, we're gonna copy uh, the manufacturer value right here. We're gonna copy that value. And then we're gonna go back to the terminal and in the terminal, we're gonna modify this command. So now we're gonna enter ECHO or echo, and we're gonna put the parentheses, and we're gonna paste what we have copied from the manufacturer. So remember, we copied right here, the SHA value, and we're gonna paste that in here. And at the end of here, uh, we're gonna put a space, and we're gonna put a star, and we're gonna type in the file name of the particular file name that we try to check against, right? So it's gonna be win11 underscore English underscore x64 v1 dot iso. So basically whatever the file name that you're checking. So I'm gonna make this in a little bit smaller so it's easy for you guys to, just to view in a one line. So basically you have type echo and you're gonna paste that value that you copied from the site and you're gonna enter the name of the file. So win11 English underscore x64 v1.iso for me, but for whatever the file you are checking. And then we're gonna close that. And then we're gonna pipe it. That's the pipe uh, symbol. And then we're gonna use SHA sum. So it's SHA sum, it's the same command. And we're gonna send that information on that HSA sum command and dash A, and we're gonna use a 256, which is the same uh, part as this part. And we're gonna put space and we're gonna put dash dash check. So C H E C K and then press enter. So depending on how fast your computer is, it might take a little while, but that this what this is gonna do uh, is that it's gonna run through the process of not only finding the checksum value for that particular file, the win11 file that we are checking, but it also check that value directly against the value that we have copied and pasted from the Microsoft website. So right here, it shows that it went through that process and it says okay here. Now if this value is different, you will not get an okay uh, right here. So I can show you that as well. So what we can do, we can change uh, one value in here. 
So remember the checksum value that we have copied uh, from the Microsoft website. So I'm going to intentionally change one of those values to make it, uh, you know, not okay. So let's say I'm a bad guy, a threat actor. I'm going to change this B uh, to an eight. And if I run the same command again, so now the checksum value is different. It will, will come back uh, with the results saying, uh, you know, it's not going to be valid. So this way you can eliminate the need for you or human to manually check each and every single one of these value against the value provided to you by the manufacturer. And right here, if there is a value uh, issue, it will come back with the error message saying the value has failed and there is no checksum match in this particular uh, run because I changed one of the values up here. So that's how you can run the checksum command on Linux machine or Mac OS machine without the need to use a, any other third party software to check your files. So until next time, please thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel and have a nice day.